airline we should load the line and to do that we click on this and you see this comes up so we'll go to load we'll click on load there are different types of lines you can see them so we'll look for a center line to now 120 so i'll click on enter the first time then click on enter again i'm able to click on enter twice because offset was the previous command that was running before i actually escaped so i will now enter my new distance which is 2920 click on enter again so we are going to have something like this around depending on your drawing your your drawing must not always be a rectangle a rectangular or square drawing as it looks so you have this you are done with your external wall comes up if i move it on another one the whole thing comes up it's acting like one so we have to explode it so to do that we'll do the selection from right from left to right rather we have to get the midpoint of this so let's say we have a line like this let's put the line at the center am i at the center let's enter again let's get the midpoint okay this is the midpoint yes so we have it so let's offset let's say we have the opening to be 900 opening say so offset so we are going to offset both sides 450 mm so we take it this way and we take it this way so we can trim off so, so that we have it like this 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 then i can select left to right and delete off the rest so i have that so my toilet is around this position then i think i have my door should also be around this side but i don't want them to be at the exact edge so i'll select draw my line there and also draw my line here all this you can do using the mirror command some of them offset so i want a 900 door click on 900 or oh, before that let's escape offset let's see 50 mm enter let's see let's take it out 50 let's take this out also 50 so we can delete this off we can delete this off so we say offset enter 900 we can enter so we have this coming out so we have this coming out also so we can escape then tr enter right click to trim off this 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 and this. Let's say 3000. It's not 3000. 3000. Set. Pick it up like this. 3000. So we also have to have the wall thickness as an offset of 230. Using single 230 here. Okay. So we have that. Let's, let's say maybe 4000 by 2000. 3000 rather. Let's say offset again. Let's say 4000. As you can see, our building is gradually shaping up. So we have that. Let's say offset of 230. With wall thickness. Take it in. Let's say trim. Let's trim up and see how what our drawing looks like. So we have this. This is like our living room. Okay. We have this room. This room. toilet around this side okay on the kitchen um, still trim this off on um, this okay um, let's see this okay so let's also not supposed to have a terrace and let's hold this and extend like this okay so let's so have a terrace let's say offset of let's say so we'll bring it in. So we're going to have the wall also there of let's say enter 230. So offset down. So let me we can take off this. Take off that. So we'll say trim off T 
see how trying to fast and do most of these things I'm just trying to show you you can actually start a drawing without using your center line initially so we have that in terms of windows then for our doors we have a 900 window select we have a 750 in a 900 door sorry we have a 750 door we have a 1200 door so we select then for now i think that's all for the doors so we for doors and window so you click on ctrl c to, to copy on your keyboard and you go back to your drawing window where you want to import them to then you click ctrl v on your keyboard again as you can see they are already there then you move them to the location where you want them so you drop them by clicking on the window so you see your doors and windows have been imported but you observe that if you check your layers these blocks came with their layers they came with walls windows thing doors which are not part of your initial layers so you have to change these doors to a particular doors and windows to a particular layer you want them to be and to do that you have to create that layer so you go to layer you create you go to new layer click on it then you label it let's say doors and windows as usual you have to select the color and let's leave it let's let's take it as gray let's take it as gray say okay so it has a great co gray color so we have that layer created close it so you come back here and you activate the layer so you discover that it is the active layer doors and windows so all you need to do is either select the whole drawing no all you need to do is just select the whole drawing and you see it is no longer so quickly before we go into the next elevation which is the side let's add few more details to this i observe that there will actually be more details that could be added so let's quickly do that we can pick our rectangle command let's have it like this I just pick a suitable one let's say we want a 300 tab let's say 225 okay that's not okay we can decide to adjust it to so our taste maybe this let's have our auto mode on and we can decide to adjust this like this so we have that so we can say match ma take it this way and we have it matched so we want to place it at the center so as usually you can select we are moving it to say move hold down your shift right click midpoint edge to edge that will enable you to pick your point at the center so we close it we want it at this point so you see that is that tr frame for this so you have this detail there that is a form of extrusion so another thing you can also do so after trimming this is what it will look like we still have some trimming to do so let's quickly get to that let's say tr let's trim this off okay and this off so we can if possible move this up a bit let's move it up move it up a bit if possible delete it let's delete it so delete this because we are done with the roof so i think the next thing is for us to hatch our roof let's hatch it let's say hatch we are already on roof hatch and we are using the rshke so just put it on so we have that so i think we are done with the roof we can hit our escape after hitting our escape the next thing for us to do is to show more details but before that let's quickly clean up 
so we position our doors the doors we are seeing openings so the section goes through this window then you have an opening here then a wall here and another wall here then you are seeing this wall in elevation then you are seeing this door in elevation also you will definitely be seeing this door in elevation and this window in section so to do that it's just the way we used to um, show the position of objects on our roof so we just go and pick our line at a convenient distance point rather or place them are going to be seeing this door at this point and at this point then since it's cutting through this we're also going to be seeing these two so we are going to place it this point this point then we see this wall also in elevation and this we are still looking at it in this direction so we're going to see this door also and this door like this ones so and finally i think that is all the rest of the other features have been identified already so we have them coming through this so quick i'm sure if you measure this it should give you the dimension of the other floor plan let's quickly look at that let's measure and see see okay have we measured correctly no obviously no let's measure it see it's from here to this point so you can see it's 11,775 just like what you have here that is i think a 225 addition to both sides that is about 500 mm 225 to this side 225 to this side so quickly you see the importance of layer you have to clean up the architectural portion of the work and be able to start your own drawing so the first thing i'm supposed to do is go to your layer off that is lay off you click on it you turn off some of the architecture layer you see automatically all the dimensions are gone you can decide to turn off the text layer you can decide to also turn this off then maybe turn off my grid turn off the door because i won't be needing them okay it's not turning off let's turn off the windows let's turn off the door finally it's gone so you see you have your work clean and there are other things that guide your positioning of columns and we'll be seeing that as we progress so one thing you should try to do is that when placing your column ensure it is not occupying any space within the building let it like try as much as possible for your columns to like blend with your walls if possible except there's no way you can do that and maybe you've tried different ways of positioning the column so that it won't affect openings in the building and space in the building that you just have to place it that way then you are you, are, you can justify it and place it the way you can but for these ones we are just trying to show you a basic ga arrangement general arrangement so let's quickly try our out a column if you measure out your wall is a 225 by 225 that is like earlier i said 225 225 on both sides and i ended up saying 500 mm that is about 450 mm instead of 500 mm so i hope we are following so now let's quickly we pick our rectangle we we draw our column in box we want it to be 225 so we enter 225 225 tab Two to five, so we have something like this. So I can just quickly move it down like this. So I have my column this way. So the next thing for me to do is to hatch it. So I'll hatch maybe black solid, depending on what you want. If you want it blue, like that. So I have my column in position. The next thing for me to do is to find a way and place it in the various positions where i want them these black lines represent your beams that is when you are going higher but for some for the foundation plan they will just be representing your basically block walls so quickly let's select this and move it to the so you now have this 
the next thing for you to do is just trim your work lines are not supposed to go into each other so you trim through the whole thing after you trim off like this it's not supposed to go in so you trim them off to have something like this like this one now that is going in you trim off this are not supposed to go into each other so have something like this like this and this and you go to the next uh, i think this yes this 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 so you have something like this at that particular position and you should have this should be linked also so you should have something like this linked okay then definitely this is not going in this i'm going to have to delete that one off so you have that you see this 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 and this going out like that so you have this so i'm going to take this off and this off 